Hello, class of 2024. My name is Benson Rodriguez, and on behalf of the senior class, it is my pleasure to formally welcome you to Southern Connecticut State University. It's great to see the enthusiasm to begin this next chapter in your lives. Convocation is a Southern tradition. Before the ceremony begins, I want to offer a few thoughts on how to make the most of your college experience. During the next few years, you'll meet many new people and make lasting friendships. Southern is filled with new opportunities to learn and enrich your lives. Take advantage of these opportunities by getting involved. Involvement is the Southern Owl spirit, so don't hesitate to spread your wings beyond your comfort zone. There's something for every student. Looking back as a senior, getting involved my first semester in the fall of 2017 was instrumental in bringing me where I am today. Rooting for the Owls during a homecoming game or going to see a comedy show in Lyman with friends, I've loved my time at this university and I'm excited to begin senior year. The modality of our education may look different today, but the quality never resided in these brick and mortar buildings. The greatest part of Southern, its faculty, staff, students, and community will always be with us. These next few years will go by faster than you think. Make the most of them. I look forward to seeing you in the Student Center, quads, and many events during the year. Welcome home. I'm pleased to introduce the Vice President of Academic Affairs and Provost, Dr. Robert Prezant. I am thrilled to be joining in the welcome of our newest OWLs. Congratulations on your successful entry to our Southern Connecticut State University academic community. As the newest members to our community, you've demonstrated your desire to learn and gather skills that will drive your future. This convocation represents the launching of your college journey, a journey that will bring new insights, new knowledge, new friends, and new directions. That's the power of learning, and that's what we celebrate with this convocation. Learning, of course, is not just in the classroom, but is found in the whole college experience, both on ground and virtual. The mode of delivery of learning is less important than what you take away from the opportunities to deepen your understanding. The formal education you receive this semester will earn you credits towards graduation. It's where you'll learn the facts and concepts, learn how to use data to tease apart fact from fiction, and where you will continue to develop the thinking skills needed to succeed. The non-class activities you choose to pursue will give you experiences needed to edge out the competition when you graduate. Whatever direction you seek and whatever opportunities you pursue, our remarkable faculty and staff are here to serve you. Make sure you meet and get to know your advisors and mentors and teachers and our full support team here at Southern. They are available virtually and hopefully soon in person. On behalf of our full academic affairs team, you have our best wishes for a wonderful semester filled with new knowledge, new positive experiences, and new learning opportunities. I'd now like to ask the President of the Student Government Association, Sarah Gossman, to begin the ceremony. It is my pleasure as the President of the Student Government Association to extend a tradition, the presentation of the Torch of Knowledge to the Class of 2024. During my years as a student at Southern, the Torch has guided my class in its pursuit of knowledge, which will culminate when my classmates and I receive our bachelor's degree at our commencement. From the earliest of time, the flaming of torch has been the symbol of knowledge and learning that dispels the darkness of ignorance. It is our symbol for learning at Southern as we expand our horizons, gain insights into understanding our world, and prepare to take our places in society when we complete our collegiate journeys. Now, as the president of the Student Government Association, it is my duty and pleasure to continue this tradition. I extend the torch of knowledge to our new class of Southern students, you, the class of 2024, as you begin your journey in higher education at our university. Once you receive the torch, you become the history and traditions of our university. I ask Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. Tracy Tyree, to welcome you and lead the induction ceremony. On behalf of the entire Southern Connecticut State University community, it is my distinct honor to conduct this year's new student induction ceremony. Class of 2024, five of your classmates have been selected to represent you, 
and to present on your behalf the resolutions of commitment, which articulate the core values of the university. They will be speaking from historical places on our campus, including Founders Gate, the Owl Statue, Engelman Hall Rotunda, the Sandy Hook Memorial, Jess Dow Field, and Bewley Library. They are Naya Mesidor from Oxford, Connecticut, majoring in psychology. Julian Camarazana from Waterbury, Connecticut, majoring in sociology. Kaylee Sudamik from Seymour, Connecticut, majoring in elementary education. Elijah Estrada from West Haven, Connecticut, majoring in computer science. And Bradley Douglas from East Haven, Connecticut, majoring in healthcare studies. This ceremony has become a tradition at the university, having been participated in by entering classes before you. It is a tangible sign of our commitment as a community that cares deeply about each other and the world around us. We are a university of compassion and respect where our voices and actions come together to make a difference for good. Please listen carefully to these representatives of your class as they read these resolutions of commitment. As you signify your agreement, we will ask that you pledge yourselves to the core values of this very special university community. Excellence, diversity, equality, and access, civic engagement and social responsibility, student success, and lifelong learning. I invite Naya to begin the resolution. Be it resolved that, as members of the Southern Connecticut State University community, we, the class of 2024, pledge to hold ourselves to the highest standards of performance as we pursue excellence in all aspects of university life, especially in the areas of academic inquiry, scholarship, athletics, the fine and performing arts, and in service. We, the class of 2024, pledge to respect the ideas and opinions of others, to celebrate the cultures of all people, and to stand resolutely and act purposefully against prejudice, bigotry, and oppression. We, the class of 2024, pledge to nurture and support a caring university community which is considerate of the goals of others and supports each other in realizing the potential success in all aspects of our lives. We, the class of 2024, pledge to do our best to be good citizens of the university and the community at large, and to live our academic and personal lives with integrity. We, the Class of 2024, pledge to transform the lives of others through the participation in the life of the university and through selfless service to the greater New Haven area, the region, and the world. We, the Class of 2024, pledge to become lifelong learners valuing inquiry, critical thinking, and the pursuit of knowledge, both as students and through all phases of our lives. Now that the resolutions of commitment have been presented by your fellow students, I ask that you join together as the class of 2024, answering the following question with the response, we will. Typically, we would all be sitting in Lyman Center together and you would respond with a collective voice. I'm going to ask that you respond out loud wherever you may be watching this convocation ceremony. It will be a tangible sign of your commitment to these values we hold dear. Class of 2024, will you, as members of the Southern Connecticut State University community, pledge your support for the resolutions you have just heard? President Bertolino, I present the Class of 2024. I ask that you and all of our university family accept the resolutions of the Class of 2024 and welcome the class into full membership in our university community. I am excited to introduce Southern's 12th president. He serves as a model for all of us in his engagement with Southern's rich campus life and his demonstration of Southern spirit. He truly bleeds blue and white. He is a dedicated educator and a strong advocate for social justice. We are fortunate to have a leader who lives these commitments every day. He cares deeply about students and is dedicated to ensuring that you achieve your personal and academic goals and that you earn your degree. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the president of our university, of your university, Dr. Joe Bertolino. Welcome class of 2024. All of us at Southern are delighted that you're here and we can't wait to help you feel at home and fully prepared to launch your college career. 
Yes, I know, you've arrived at a time that, well, could be described as weird. It's certainly nothing that any of us would have ever anticipated. But don't worry, we've been preparing all summer for your arrival. You'll find all the support you need as you join our campus community. So if you're worried about anything, need information about your schedule, or you're not sure where to find something on campus, just reach out, we'll be here to help. Now, let's talk about COVID. If we take care of ourselves and each other, we'll get through this challenging time together. So for the good of everyone at Southern, I ask you to do this, follow the rules. Ensure that you observe social distancing, wear a mask at all times, and don't attend large functions. I call on all of you to play your part in that responsibility. Now, my favorite part, who is your class? The class that you have entered with this fall has more racial and ethnic diversity than any that came before it. 44% are students of color. And first generation students are also a larger share of our first year class, up 4%. 95% of our students are from Connecticut, with the remainder from New England, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Florida, and California. And your most popular majors? Healthcare studies, psychology, management, nursing, and biology. You are students of immigrants, first-generation college students, students who struggled to find themselves in high school, students who have lost loved ones, who overcame challenges, students who wrote about their faith and their families, and those who inspire them. These are your classmates, and I encourage you to share your personal stories with them. You know, I'm guessing you'll learn a lot about one another and share through texting, tweets, Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook, as you should. In fact, I invite you to get engaged with our vibrant social media scene at Southern, and also visit my sites on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Just look for the handle SCSU Top L. But if I have one main piece of advice for you today, it is this. Show up, get involved, meet new friends, connect with your faculty, staff, peers. And if you pay attention, you'll learn how to interact with people whose ideas and values may be completely opposite to yours and to see the world from their point of view. This point is critical because as you know, our country continues to be tarnished by recent incidents of bigotry, racial hatred, and violence. As we begin a new academic year here at Southern, I believe it's important to emphasize that we value each other and every member of our community as part of our campus-wide commitment to social justice. We will not tolerate hate in this community we will not tolerate racism, sexism, homophobia, anti-Semitism, or any form of bigotry whatsoever. At the same time, we also value the right to free speech and to airing different perspectives, even some that you might not agree with. Where better to learn about others' points of view and to debate and converse with others who you differ with than on a college campus? and you will. You'll find that we have created a campus culture where people are willing to share their multiple points of view on myriad topics and participate in collective dialogue in a safe, welcoming environment. And for this to continue, it's important that all of us treat one another with dignity, respect, kindness, compassion, and civility. Remember, that as the newest members of our campus community, you have a larger responsibility to each other. When you participate in events and activities, when you walk around this campus, when you interact with others, you must be intentionally kind. 
helping a fellow student with their classwork, saying a kind word, giving someone encouragement, saying thank you to your housekeeper, custodian, receptionist, police officer, food service worker, standing up for an injustice, fighting for what you believe is right. These things matter at Southern. For now, I leave you with this thought. Know that you have value. Know that those around you have value. During these strange times, I invite you to express to those you care for and about how important they are to you. Be grateful, have hope, and remember, you matter. Welcome to Southern.